بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم my most august and dear viewers my name is junaid jamshed this is a very special occasion you know the month in which nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam graced this world and there is nothing in this world full of khair that he did not tell his ummah and there is nothing in this world which is full of sharr that he did not warn us about according to one of the sayings of nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam ad-dinu an-nasiha the straightforward meaning of this uh, hadith is that deen is nasiha the deen is advice but one interpretation that the ulama have done of this hadith is that the word nasiha is made up of two things two words one is nasih which is the one who advises and the other is minsaha which is actually a word in arabic for needle a needle the word nasih also has this meaning of adjoining basically that of a tailor so according to these words of wisdom of nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the nasih which is the tailor or the or the adjoiner picks up his minsaha and with his minsaha adjoins different pieces of cloth together then that piece of cloth those pieces of cloth which were which were absolutely worthless before they were adjoined they become a dress and they become priceless and they are put in different shops and they are used as long as those pieces weren't together they weren't sewn together they were absolutely useless and had no meaning and now that they have been joined together like this kurta that i'm wearing the sleeves and the front the back now they've been joined together they have become part of human body they 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 are there to to uh, they embrace us they make us look good and they are worthy of spending a lot of money on them so similarly as long as the umma is together they are priceless in the eyes of allah they have a huge worth and they are going to be dominant all over the world and if they are not then they are going to be of no use and they are going to be worthless in the eyes of allah so may allah rabbul izzat so as far as deen is concerned as long as deen is in our lives we'll be joined together and if deen is not there it will be very very difficult to join the umma because the umma actually gets together only when allah and his prophet and their sayings and talim are in our lives then the whole umma is together and if those sunnas and the commandments of allah are not in our lives this ummah can never get together may allah give me and may allah give all of you this strength and tawfiq to to actually spend our lives in the lifestyle of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam right at the end i would like to thank celebrate mercy from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity to communicate with all the viewers and before i leave i just like to read a few words in the praise of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is how they go muhammad ka roza qareeb aa raha hai bulandi pe apna naseeb aa raha hai nabiyun azim rasulun kareem wa bil mu'minin raufun rahim fa minhu atana tariqun qawim liman sara fihi 